Jim is a lifestyle coach. He's back with us this morning with some ways to help us along the way. Thank you. Good morning and Happy New Year. A happy Excited. New Year and Happy New You. I'm, I'm fired up. <laughs> Better reinvent yourself. You know what? And, and you're very really serious about this. And those yeah. of us who do get serious about it, I, I act like I'm in this mix. I'm trying to get there. Yeah, yeah. Um, if we would just follow a few easy steps, you've seen clients completely transform their lives. Big time, yeah. I've been doing this process since 1998, and what I've realized is that less than 3% of people in our country actually set goals, write them down, wow. and have a process. So, But the 3% are those folks that are really committed to getting to that next level, and you see really... But as your word transformation with those people that are doing that. A lot of this is just taking that time to listen to your thoughts, and that's right. step number one. Well, first of all, you got to schedule a time with yourself. That's number one, because most people have every intention, especially around the holidays. Yes. I've had so many clients at Thanksgiving going, oh, I'm going to do it in December. Or guess what? Holiday parties, Hanukkah, Christmas, New Year's. They wake up on January 2nd, and they never took time for themselves. Right. So it's not just getting the thoughts out of your head and putting them down, but it's also taking that time for yourself. Yes. Well, and we'll talk about that as well, because a lot of times when you take that time for yourself, you also so say it's very important to write it in a journal and you've, you've got a three-step process that's here. right that's right well number one is, is after the after the commitment of the time is getting a journal you got to have something that you put it down I don't recommend legal pads or yellow stickies yes. you know have it in one place I prefer the moleskin that's kind of like the age-old uh, you know uh, capture mechanism that all the famous writers would write in but yeah. you, you, you follow three steps past present future is the easiest way to remember it mm -hmm. the past is to reflect you, people want to move on to the next year I've been watching Facebook and Twitter can't wait for the new year to move yeah. on it, but you know, take time. Go back to January 1, look to the year, and look at where you've come from. Look at the people who've come into your life. Look where you've traveled to. Even it may have been a rough year, you've had a lot of things that are great, so you have to reflect. The second part is what I call State of the Union. The State of the Union is you've got to be honest with yourself. Sure. I call it confronting the brutal facts. Are you, are you frustrated? Are you stressed? Is there something you need to address going into the next year? There's something that's emotionally tugging at you. And then mm -hmm. the last part, of course, is to end up with your goals. What is it that you want to accomplish in the next year in 2014? Which is great because then it's all written down. Yep, that's right. All right, and then we move on to this attitude and behavior adjustment. Yeah, I have all of my clients uh, identify at least a handful of behaviors. Mm -hmm. Now, we say in, in our world of personal development that belie beliefs drive behaviors. True. So if you're going to get a different result in your life, you have to get a different behavior system, meaning maybe you need to change your workout schedule. Maybe you need to wake up earlier, go, you know, go to bed a little bit sooner. Maybe you need to change your diet. Those aren't necessarily goals. Those are behavior shifts. Mm -hmm. So you have to really write this stuff down. Is it just making a choice to do it? You have to write this stuff down. Here's five behaviors behaviors that I'm absolutely committed to doing to changing in order to get these new results. The, the rule is if you keep doing what you're doing, you're going to keep getting what you're getting. So if you want to get to the next level, then you have to address the beliefs and the behaviors to get there. All right. It makes sense. I hope you can follow these. Take Mike the time Lundstrom, to do it. We appreciate it.